flash floods continue to swamp the U.S. northeast on Monday. This used to be my front yard. As torrential rain that began over the weekend overwhelmed rivers, washed out roadways, and killed at least one woman in New York State who was swept away. In Vermont State Capital, Montpelier, streets were underwater in the city center on Monday. While police there issued a warning in the evening for residents to stay off the roads as waters were expected to continue rising. That comes after Governor Phil Scott declared a state of emergency on Sunday night. In New York, scenes of police and emergency crews rescuing stranded motorists show how dangerous conditions were on Sunday. Governor Kathy Hochul issued emergencies for several worst-hit counties across New York. She inspected the damage in Orange County on Monday and pointed to climate change as the cause of the extreme weather. This is the new normal. And we in government, working with our partners on the ground, have to work with our communities to build up resiliency, to be prepared for the worst because the worst continues to happen. New York and Vermont suffered the brunt of the storms, but the National Weather Service said on Monday more than 13 million Americans were under flood watches and warnings across much of the Northeast. Well, I didn't watch my car just swim away. In southeast Pennsylvania, a witness video showed raging floodwaters sweeping away a car. Ah! More than a thousand flights across the region, including at New York's LaGuardia and Boston's Logan, were delayed or cancelled on Monday due to the rains. Private forecaster AccuWeather gave an initial estimate of about three to five billion dollars worth of damage and economic loss from the downpours and floods. And it's not over yet. More rain is expected through Tuesday in the region, likely creating further flood hazards.